previous video we are going to check whether a given number is a special number or not by considering the following specification so children here for example 145 is a special number because here the sum of the factorial of each and every digit of the number matches with the number so here factorial of 1 plus factorial of 4 plus factorial of 5 which gives you 1 plus 24 plus 120 which is 145 so such numbers are special numbers so here we will be considering the same specification which has been given on the screen so first of all define a class here and then uh, here this is the instance variable and this is the constructor so inside this here norm is equals to n and within this function here it is the number is num and here the function for factorial which is int f is equals to 1 which is for int I will be 1 till it is up to n i plus plus and f is equals to f into i and finally the function is going to return f here this uh, function is a special we have to define and before that I would like to define this package for a scanner class and here the main method and in this main method we have to define this variable num define this scanner class now enter number which is num is ss.nextint and then uh, just call the create the object of the class so special number obj new special number and passing this variable num and after that boolean f is obj dot is a special and here this function actually this is not going to receive any parameter we have already have this as instance variable so the number is special else the number is not special now first of all I would like to define uh, what this function is doing actually children this function is actually calculating the factorial so I hope everybody knows what is a factorial so if it is 5 so then factorial of 5 will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this is factorial of 5 so children suppose here we are passing 5 so this value the loop will go from 1 to 5 initial value of f is 1 so it is initially 1 into 1 which is 1 then i becomes 2 then it becomes 1 into 2 which is 2 then i becomes 3 which is 1 into 2 into 3 which is 6 now f becomes 6 i becomes 4 and into 4 it becomes 24 and i becomes 5 and f becomes 24 into 5 which is 120 which is a factorial of 5 so this is how this uh, function is just calculating the factorial so here and after that within this function we have to check whether the given number is a special number or not so first of all here we have to make a duplicate copy of that and one more variable we need for the sum one more variable is needed for the extraction of digits and I hope you all know how to extract the digits so while 
this copy is more than this a is equals to copy mod 10 and then here this variable f is for the factorial so just call this function fact passing this a so this f will receive the factorial of the pass digit which is a and after that here you have to write s is equals to s plus f and here copy is equals to copy by 10 will happen so finally when this loop terminates we need to check whether this s equals matches with n or not if it matches the function will return true otherwise function will return false so here uh, what is the initial variable which we have declared here we have declared num so here during the duplicate copy we need to make it to num and here anywhere i think yes one more thing is here we need to write num the number is 145 which we are passing the number is special so here i am going to just explain this function is special so what i am passing here here the number is 145 and its copy will become 145 now while this 145 is more than 0 so 145 mod 10 what will happen 5 will be received and factorial of 5 120 will be received and here 120 will get added and here 145 by 10 will happen and which is 14 now here 14 is still more than 0 so what will happen this 14 is still more than 0 so this a will receive 4 and this time this f will receive 24 and further this 24 also will get added it becomes 144 and this time this 14 by 10 will happen so here it becomes 1 now here this 1 is this 1 is still more than 0 so it becomes 1 and here the factorial of 1 is also 1 so here 1 is added within this it becomes 145 so now the sum is 145 and original number was 145 both are same resulting true the number is a special number so children this is uh, how we can check for a special number and I hope you have understood this concept and I hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching